How many? Six or seven, maybe eight. Can't you count? They're not exactly all together, sir. Well, where are they? They're here. It's just... Well, not everything is attached, sir. We're short a few parts. Parts? This way, sir. I think I got a shoe over here in the bush. Oh, Jesus Christ. Put a lid on this, as of now. Yes, sir. We'll cordon off the area, sir. Let me talk to the survivors. There's only one left. Only one? My God, it's happening all over again. He claims to be the rider. And he's still somewhat in shock. Mr. Lyman? This is Chief Dana. What's going on here? I don't know. We were just making a movie. A movie? There are seven or eight. or eight corpses laying out there. The hell kind of a movie was it? I don't know. I used to know. Josh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't see through the makeup. I thought it was Oliver. Yeah, well, Oliver's over here, where he's supposed to be. Who the hell is that? Uh, Stephen Blake. I was told to come to the set. To the set, not on it. Blake's the real cop I told you about. He investigated the real murders here. Huh. OK. Uh, Mr. Blake. I believe you're going to be one of our technical advisors. And technical advisors belong behind the camera. Freddy, let's go. Quiet! Let's do it again. Oliver, your agent's on the phone. Oh, Josh. Freddy. Take 10, everybody. 10. Josh, uh, I've got another scene. No, Arthur, no. But it has pace. It's not the movie I'm making. Yeah, but I, I like this movie. Peter. Oh, Harry. It's your interview with that movie magazine. Mm. Terrific. Well, they're on hold. Listen, have you found me any local bimbos yet? Not yet. Well, stay on there. Who is this? Her name is Sally Evans. Hello, Sally. Harry Slyric. Harry Slyric. I'm the producer. <laughs> no, this film is nothing like Babysitter Basher. Yeah, it was a good little movie. Uh-huh. Oh, absolutely. This film will be done in good taste. That's cool. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just let it dry. Josh, you're ready. Tell me those aren't great. Robbie, there will be no exploding tit shot. Look, Harry specifically said he wanted Oh, I can't imagine wanted... what Harry said. Are those yours? No. He made them for me. Too bad. OK, look, at least let me tear the nipple off. Jesus, think of the audience. Do you think my mother could watch that? I don't know. What's she like? I want subtle. What this? This 
is not subtle. Don't do that! <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get used to it. <laughs> How long does it take? Oh, about as long as it takes to digest the caterer's donuts. What? Here, here. Hold this. Yes, terrible murder, mutilation. Yes, it's all about five minutes ago. Look, Josh, I may be wrong. I doubt it. Where is he? Freddie said you canceled the motel rooms. Uh, excuse me a minute, production emergency. Too expensive. Everyone stays right here. There's plenty of rooms. So we're going to be working and living here. <laughs> That's just like camp. You're going to turn this into an asylum, Harry. Josh, it's nostalgia. Did you ever want to go back to high school, see what it'll be like? No. No, not really. I'm back, sir. Hey, Josh, yeah. I got the lead in the yes, series. Hey, that's great. What is it? Oh, it's an action adventure with some humor, kind of a ripoff of Miami Vice and Moonlight. Great. When does it start? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hey, Oliver, you got you got four more weeks here. Josh, this is a series. Hey, Oliver, <laughs> this is a movie. Yeah, low budget movie. Now you can't do this to me. We got a contract. We can sue. No, you can't. That takes money. No, Arthur. No. The high school has been closed down ever since. And listen, Sally, I think you should know just one more fact for the article. The murderer was never caught or even identified. Sally, I really gotta go. I look forward to reading you. And by the way, it was really nice talking to you, Sally. <laughs> you too. Have a nice day. Peter! 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 Yeah, Harry. Don't you hear me? What do I stutter? Oh, Listen, I want to guarantee a good interview. Climb the pump a little. Uh, Sally Evans, a little thank you. Okay. Yeah, check her out. If she's a looker, send the deuce bag some flowers. If she's fat, just dump some candy on her. Okay. Yeah. Peter! Yeah, Harry. Corned beef on rye. Lean. Got it. Peter! Not from the truck. Not from the truck. Keep in touch, Harold. I hope they cancel your series, Oliver. Scum face. Actors. Be cool, Callie. Gonna be a star, Oliver? Try. Yeah, right. Arthur, I want you to write a great sexy scene for Janine. You could have a big career ahead of you, honey. You got great tits. They're fake, but who has to know? You like me? All right, that's it. Hold it right there. Anybody here? Hey, wait up. Hey, listen, could you tell me how to get out of here? I thought this was the way to the parking lot.
all of us gone off to better things. It's a real crusher, but <laughs> we've lost him in this picture. I mean, you won't catch me holding him back. I mean, he's got a career out there, and, and I'm happy for him. But he was playing you. So this is really a stroke of good fortune. And I believe in signs. Yeah, but I've never done this before. Hey, you'll be more natural that way. You remember Mr. Castleman, the principal, and yeah. Amos, the custodian? Well, they're going to be playing themselves also. Are you sure this is a good idea? It was the director's idea. Part of his documentary background loves realism. Hey, George, great having you on the crew. Doing a hell of a job. Couldn't do it without you. <laughs> Guy is such a moron. So slow. <laughs> Brain damage, you know? But you're going to be terrific. I feel it. I can't. No, you're going to be great. Well, if you think I can handle it. Trust me. Harry. Harry, Oliver's leaving. Ah, oh, don't worry about that scumbag. He couldn't act for shit anyway. I got your new start. You're not going to believe it. Tell it me. Harry, you okay? Trust me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Stephen, this is our director, Josh Ford. Huh? Uh, we've met. Harry, you got a minute? I need an actor, Harry. This is better. This is reality. Think of the publicity. Think of the bad scenes. Bad scenes, good scenes. Publicity gets him into the theater. But they're gonna hate the movie. Not if you give him more tits and blood. The film's about people, Harry. People, not body parts. That's right. People like Stephen Blake. He'll be great. Josh, <laughs> Dylan needs you to check out the lens selection. Trust me. Josh? I just got my contracts, Harry, and your oily signature was not on it. Oh, don't worry about that. Your, your agent and I have been friends for over ten years. <laughs> what does that say about my agent? Oh, Stephen Blake, I want you to meet Miss Kelly Cassidy, your leading lady. You two should get acquainted. Tomorrow you're gonna have to ball the brains out in Technicolor. <laughs> Ciao. Ever the poet. I'm a... <clears throat> I'm not really an actor. Oh, well, I'm not really an actress either. I've got three films to prove it. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh... Yeah. What was it? The place just felt weird. We knew no one ever found the killer, and we did a lot of night shooting. There aren't a lot of lights in that school. It just felt there was something out there in all that darkness. And then there was that squeaking sound. It just kept coming. Closer. And closer. And closer. Oh my god. That sheet is moving. Where? Over there. My god. One of them's still alive. Check for a pulse. I thought that was a girl's body. Uh, it is, sir. But that's a man's arm. I know. Uh, uh, some of the bodies were pretty torn up, sir. Uh, I guess we got some of the parts mixed up. The, the arm just rolled off. What are we up against? Who could have done all this? What kind of a weapon did they use? No, no. It's been done before. I need something else. Something new. Okay, but we got other problems. Robbie wants to know if you can give him more time on a severed hand. 
What's wrong? The eyeballs don't work. He needs to get him to bulge out a little more. Take a look. Hey, how you doing, Amos? <laughs> I'm gonna be a movie star. <laughs> Should be fun. Man said, just act natural. Be cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always were a cool cat. Oh, I remember you too, Stevie Blake, when you went here. You was always nice to me. <laughs> Not like the mothers, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you gonna do with your newfound fame? I'm going to do some of them pussy films. <laughs> Pornos. <laughs> yes, I was. Why? Got 10 inches strapped to the leg right here. Just ran to go. <laughs> Been mopping flows too long. <laughs> too long, Stevie. <laughs> too long. <laughs> too long, Stevie. Yes. I don't mean to disturb you, but I understand that you were the principal here when this whole thing happened. Yes, yes. Well, you see, I'm trying to get a handle on my character, you know, what she was like, and, uh... What was she like? Oh, she... She was... She was a good student. She... Tell that Farley boy. Look, I, I'm sorry if this whole thing bothers you, remembering and all. Well, that's all about all I do now is remembering. I just remember all the time. You can imagine. You can? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you really can imagine. You, you see that table over there in the corner? Ordinary corner, isn't it? Until, until I saw a nose nailed to the floor right over there. And a tongue lying right there. Eyeballs. Eyeballs dangling from strings. That closet. Would you like would you like to use your imagination? See if see if you can use your imagination. Just open up the door there. Look right in there. Don't be afraid. Just just use your imagination. out away on cue when the doors were open. There's over 30 feet of wiring in here to 15 different circuits. And four vials of my special homemade pus. Robbie, that is disgusting. I'm not talking about baking cookies here, Madam Girl Scout. It takes over an hour to stir this stuff to the right consistency. You should spend as much time on your face as I spent on this one. You know, if she's not going to appreciate what I'm doing, she shouldn't be here. Do you have any idea how long it takes to get this stuff to work just right? Not as long as it took that murderer to chop up that poor student. I remember them. Every one of them. Team, two out of three falls, right, Sherry? <laughs> oh, got any underwear on today, Sherry? <laughs> Back off, asshole. Hey, come on, man. Chill out, all right? I didn't know you two got married. 
Thanks, Farley. My hero. Uh, later, okay? okay. Oh, pain. Doctor. Yo, please don't tell me you're going out with the team mascot. Come on, boss. Hey, <laughs> pussy on wheels, pal. I call, <laughs> she comes. But uh, not for you, cutie. <laughs> she would take it, man. If you can handle the traffic. Now that over there is more my speed. <laughs> That's what I call Mount Olympus, man. And as far as I know, nobody's reached the top yet. No problem. You don't stand a chance, Casanova. Well, I feel a little wager coming on there, pal. Oh, wager, what do you think, Jimmy? 50 bucks, something yeah, like that? I think 50. You got it, 50. I'll even throw in the wet panties as proof. Oh, wait. Oh, wet panties. Hey, beautiful, I'm talking to you. Wait a second, all right? Did you want me? I'm Richard Farley, quarterback. Oh, really? What's your name? Sarah. Sarah Walker. Well, Sarah, seems like today's your lucky day. I want you to come and watch me. Here's a special pass to the game. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate the thought, but I really do have other plans. I don't know what kind of a guy you think I am, but uh, I just don't give these passes to every girl that walks in off the streets. I really have no idea what kind of guy you are. <laughs> All I want is your phone number. Now I know. She's walking away. <clears throat> Can't I just call you? I'm late and you're in my way. Tomorrow night, say uh, 7 o'clock. I'll pick you up. No. All right. What? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Dad, let me down. Either you say yes, or I'm going to take Becky out in the hallway naked. Sarah! All right. Uh. Nice view, huh? Very nice. Gets better. This place has good vibes. Oh, good air. So, uh, what do you think? About what? About me. I haven't really given it much thought. Well, that's all right. We have all night long. I think that I should be getting home now. You know, uh, I lost it up here. <laughs> really? Well, thank you for sharing that moment with me. May we go now? <laughs> we just got here. It's late. Will you lighten up a little? Did anyone ever tell you what a bitch and bod you have? It's time for me to go now, Richard. Or is it Dick? I am serious. Hey, listen, I just spent seventeen fifty plus tip on dinner. You didn't buy me. <sighs> Guy's got to get something. Well, that is all you're getting from me. Now I am going home, even if I have to walk. Oh, so you want me to work for it? What are you doing? Now listen, I've been watching you pushing through those clothes all night long. You can't lead a guy on and not deliver. Lead you on? <clears throat> Nobody hits one of the trolls. This could have been fun. Now, come here. Now I gotta show you what 1750 plus tip is worth. Now you're gonna see me score right between the uprights. Stop it. We gotta see your tits. Are they in the picture? Where's the frame line? In the hell? Jesus Christ, Harry. Give me a break, Josh. We're gonna see some flesh. That's it. No more. So you guys are probably gonna want to do is ice my nipples to make them stick out. Why are women always the ones to be exploited? What is it with you guys? Hey, I'm having a great time. Oh, really? Well, would you if you had to walk around in this scene with your schlong hanging out? 
Only in your case, darling, it would be a schlort. Come on, Callie. It's a movie. Shit. You know what happens to movies? People see them. It seeps into their minds. Everything we do plants a seed. What the fuck is she talking about? I am talking about the necessity of this scene, Harry. <laughs> Look, you gotta know she was raped. You don't have to show it to know it. Who the hell wants to hear about it? It is degrading to women. It sells tickets. Well, it shouldn't. If they keep seeing them, I'll keep making them. No, no, I am sorry. There is nothing redeeming about this shit. <laughs> you. This could be trouble, you Arthur. Well, I didn't want to write the scene this real way. Actors. You told me you were trying to say something with this picture. Maybe we can kill off a character. What? Life is a Cuisinart? Maybe we can rewrite some of this. Hmm. Frickin' actresses. I should have done an animated horror film. Harry, am I getting paid or what? Roy, what are you talking about? My check. You didn't get it? No. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna fire that secretary. She can't do this to my crew. You guys are family. Look, I'll personally messenger the check to you. Can't trust the mail. The guy's working. What is this, charity? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Excuse me. What? Mr. Slurk? Sorry. I, I just wanted to thank you for letting me be a part of this picture. Oh, anytime, kid. You're a good actor. And I was thinking maybe... Look, we'll talk. I'm not asking you to do that, but you better write something redeeming. Well, what? A scene for Kelly. I don't know. Two girls talk about love, marriage, babies. Babies? Yeah. Make it poignant. Redeeming. You know, life is wonderful crap. Give me a lot of hope. Hope. And set it in the locker room shower so they're naked. are getting crazy. What is it? Is it me? Is it the school? Ever since I got here, I don't feel right. No, no, no. wait a minute. Listen, remember when you were in high school? You thought you'd never get out? Well, you're living and working here. It's kind of the same thing. No, well, that's not what I mean. Maybe it's the people actually died here. It was pretty gruesome, right? Before the incidents, had anything like this ever happened before? No. That's why it was such a shock. I mean, I grew up here. Crip and Hyde defined normal. I mean, we did typically normal things. Look, I'll show you. This is what you wanted to show me? Yeah. An empty locker. That's very impressive. No, 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 no. no. Look again. Steve and Kathy. Steve and Kathy? Yeah, but this was my locker. Heart complete with Cupid's arrow. Blink, you're a softie. <laughs> what do you mean, arrow? He's not just like a man to forget. No, I never drew that arrow. I wasn't there yesterday either. That's a fresh scratch. And it's right through my name.
Maybe there is something going on. Like what? Like whoever did the killings is back. Yeah, but why? Because they like it. Robbie, are you in here, man? Come on, bro. Where do you want me to put this stuff, huh? She can't miss it here. Man. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Yo, is that you, man? Hey, look, come here, you gotta check this out. Bro, is that you? I'm not gonna film it, Harry. Oh, yes, you will if you want to get paid. It's crass. It's crude. It's, it's great entertainment. You see what's happening here, Arthur? Defend your script. I wanted to do a psychological thrill. You what? call this psychological? This is blatant abuse to the audience. What abuse? Everyone loves a good gross out. Look, I'm trying to do a film. Listen, you that Josh is Riddle, edge of sanity. A simple, normal town plunged into a series of ghastly murders. Why? Yeah, yeah. How could it happen, they say? Nothing ever happens in this town. And there lies the thread. The thread that we follow. We follow it, Harry to its horrifying revelation. And what is that? Oh, yes. What is that?
So you never saw Kathy after the prom? No. She, uh... She just went away. Why? I don't know. We slept together that night. It was my first time. And then she went away to her grandparents' place for a summer vacation. And she didn't come back. I thought I'd done something terrible. I didn't sleep with another girl for three years after that. Uh, uh, that, that Robbie fella, he, he asked me to mop up. I, I never seen such a mess. Must be shooting some gruesome scenes. All right, <laughs> let's clear this up. Freddy, uh, didn't we have some new pages being Xeroxed? Where's Peter? Uh, there are uh, three possibilities. Our uh, trusty production assistant either quit because of no pay, quit because of being Harry's whipping post, or um, quit because of pressure around the local bimbos. The body count rises. Hey, Dylan, didn't you tell me one of the grips just uh, disappeared? Vanished? Swear. Walk down the dark hallway. And that was all she wrote. Yeah, none of this makes sense. We thought they were quitting. We know different now, don't we? No one heard the screams? Sure, but you just figured someone was rehearsing their lines. They were dropping like flies in there. How could you not notice? On a low-budget film, you just get so used to working with less, you expect a certain amount of attrition. Look, someone doesn't show up for work. Somebody else doubles up on that job. Isn't that a, isn't that a guy? See, we had one actress play three different characters. Just plopped on a new wig. But the blood, it was all over. Is that you the size of this? In a Western, everything gets covered with dirt. Two days on this movie, everything I owned was covered with blood. Harry wanted lots and lots of blood. I guess it just didn't take that much for the killer to just casually blend it all together. There's nothing casual about any of this. I know. No one inside yet, sir. None that we could see. What the hell happened to you? There is blood everywhere. Slippery, just fell. I slid from Greenway's chemistry class all the way to Bronsnahan's English. Found this, though. Where was it? The biology lab. What do you know about the biology lab? They changed every scene I wrote for that location. My stuff was butchered. The animals we'll use in our dissections are dead, though preserved wholly intact, much like the specimens you see in these jars. As you can see, this rat is in a condition almost identical to that when it was first placed in the preserving solution. A solution known as formaldehyde. Now we must be very careful when working with this solution because if inhaled, these vapors can produce quite an adverse reaction, as Mr. Porter will now demonstrate. Ah! Having a nightmare, Donnie? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. Well, that's because your gray matter was on holiday. <laughs> you were sleeping in my classroom for the third time this week. 
I'm going to have to find something very interesting for you. And I don't like doing that. Not for a worthless, sniveling uh, little... Mr. Burnbell? Well, what have we here? Huh. Your name is Susan. Yes. The lady in the office said that you might have room for another student. I just started here today, and all the other classes this period were full. Maybe I'll just go to the library. Oh, no, no, no. Of course we have room. Now, uh, let's see. Is uh... anyone sitting there? Let's get back to formality. It's not just in this rat job, but it's all around. Uh, in everything Don from Porter. clothes to furniture. Even Susie. And if you're you not careful... You need to borrow my notes or anything, just to ask. We aren't all listening, Thanks. are we? Order. Order. How can anyone be so pathetic? You're a freak of nature, Porter. Much like that dodo bird. Too weak, too stupid, too ignorant to survive. So nature killed it off. Everyone, take a look at a soon to be extinct species the Donny Bird. <laughs> Chapter 17 for tomorrow's dissection examination. Uh, Susan. Susan, you have a lot of extra work to make up. Yes, I'll start tonight. I'll catch up in no time. Oh, I realize your good intentions, Susan, but, uh, I think you'll need some extracurricular tutoring. Tutoring? Why, Mr. Birnbaum, I am a straight-A student. Ah, that was at another school, Susan. You'll find that I'm far more exacting. That's why I make myself available at night to my more promising students. Excuse me. I gotta talk to him. I'm busy right now, Miss McCall. Yeah, most of the time. Didn't used to be, though. Not when you wanted me coming in at night. It's okay, I can wait. But how come I'm getting C's now instead of A's? Perhaps if you looked into the mirror, you could figure that out for yourself, Miss McCall. Would you like to drop another grade? You better buzz off. You want an A, too? Don't worry. He finishes fast. Susan. Uh, that's the warning bell. I think I'd better get going. Richard. Richard, this is Officer Blake from the Crippen Police Department. He's investigating the death of that Farley boy and that uh, cheerleader that... Oh, yes, yes, Sherry Haynes. Uh, she was a lovely girl. Well, how can I help you? About the murders. Oh, yes. Grizzly affair. Reminds me of some of my students' sloppy dissection examinations. You uh, told Principal Castleman that you had some thoughts on who might have done this? Yes. Yes, I believe I do. Well, anything would be appreciated. You know, this really isn't very accurate. I mean, Birnbaum didn't know anything. That's not the point. Cut it. Well, I thought that's what the scene was about. The scene is about getting finished by 6.30. I have a crew that wants to go eat dinner. Yeah, what is for dinner? Then, if there are no further interruptions, I'm gonna slip quietly into a hot tub and slip my wrist, thus providing Harry with more of his sought-after blood for this epic. Gates clean. Let's go again. We are making a movie. All other life ceases to exist. There is only the next scene. <laughs> Rana Pippians, the common field frog. Now, as you all can see, little Freddy is dead. Very dead. Dead little Freddy. 
And in a few moments, you will all have the unique pleasure as we try to discover what makes Freddy, Freddy, as we split him open on your desks. If you ever want to be a coroner and cover people, Are you, you okay? must first start with frogs. They're just little creatures. I can't. Order. Talking again? Would you like to share your vast wisdom with the whole class? I'm, I may have to be excused. What? And miss all the fun? Mr. Burnbaum, Donnie loves animals. He's very sensitive and... He's a scared little snot. What's the matter, Porter? Are you afraid to go poking around little Freddy? Well, that's what I'm here for. To inspire you. Now begin by inserting the scalpel. Mm -hmm. You'll have to separate the epidermis from the spinal column. Mm -hmm. And then the most rewarding part of this exercise, he will insert the scalpel past the chest wall and with his free hand reach in, firmly grasping the heart and tear it out. Mm -hmm. I can't. Let me do it. I know how. No. He'll do it or he won't leave this class. Now dig in. Susan? Is that you, Susan? Well, you just have a seat and I'll be right with you. Glad you changed your mind about our tutoring sessions. Susan? Susan? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were one of my students. Now, as you all can see, little Freddy is dead. Very dead little Freddy. You like to share your Just scared little stuff. But that's what I do for. Bye, 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 bye. And in a few moments, you will all have the the open on your desk. And we all try to discover what made me ready.
ready. Come on, rich teacher. Steady. Dead, little, ready. 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 Did he really die that way? Best as we could piece together. Sorry, that's a bad choice of words. I'm scared. I think something's going on. All these people leaving, not showing up. I heard it was normal on a film like this. I don't feel normal about this. I just think there's somebody out there waiting, and I want to find him. Or her. Or it first. Let's write down what we know. How about a list of names? Yeah, that's good. Anyone who you think is remotely connected. Well, Sally. Yeah, Harry. Yeah, listen, I just wanted to follow up on that interview. A few things I thought you might like to add. Well, it seems people are disappearing from our set. Yeah, crew members, some actors. Yeah, well, you know, I thought it was nothing at first. Then I have remembered that you had mentioned in our first interview that you thought the murderer may still be out there somewhere. Yes, I think it could be the same person. The police? <laughs> they don't know what to do. Johnson? No. Kathy Castleman. May I? Please, thank you. No, 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 wait a minute. This is my girlfriend from high school. Kathy Johnson. Yes, well, uh, What's she... What's going on? She used, uh, Johnson. Uh, didn't want the kids to know that her father was the principal. So where is she now? Way. Well, where? Grad school. <laughs> When's she coming back? Hey, are we gonna shoot this thing or what? If I knew my motivation, maybe I could play the scene better. What's my motivation? You're dead. Dead people have no motivation. They don't do anything. The horror. The horror. I wish there was something I could do to help out. Maybe, maybe I could fix up the story. Listen, fixing this script would be like polishing a turd. Why did you ever want to write this thing, anyway? Long time ago, I went to this high school. Writing this was like coming home again.
could be any of them. Even me. <laughs> Would you be serious? Look, a good detective doesn't rule out anybody when he's building a case. You see, the note you throw out may kill you. Come here. What? Come here. What? So, uh, you like my uniform, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Know too much. Wife, my gun's missing. Why? What's that noise? For God's sake, lock the door. Someone must have stolen my gun.
Kelly. That was perfect. Go again. Okay, let's come around on him, okay? <laughs> no, Amos! Stop! <laughs> You okay? We were dead. Come on, just let it go. It's all right. I can't. All right. We'll take a walk. You all right? I guess. Just take some deep breaths, okay? Blake. What? Get over here. It's blood, isn't it? Looks like someone was dragging a body. A body? I'll check it out. You're not leaving me alone. My guess is they dragged the body, hacked it up, flushed it. What's that? It was Freddy's. That's Freddy, the first AD, first assistant director. Not much left. I'll check back here. That's all you could find of Um, well, uh, we found the intestines, sir, but uh, we left them. I mean, well, uh, he just must have eaten, sir, because, uh, well, you know. Yeah. I can imagine. The area sealed off. No one in or out. Good. Then whoever did all this could still be in there. What a room by room search. I wouldn't do that. Why not? We tried that, 
and that's when things got really tough. Whoever or whatever it was, it just made them mad. We have to check every room. Maybe we should get some of the others. Who do we trust? You're right. Okay, let's go. Turn on some lights. Okay, boss. No. If we take the time to get help, then the son of a bitch could get away. What does that mean? It means that he's still here. Somewhere. Look, you see this? His blood hasn't had time to dry. Maybe we just can't see where it went. It looks like a tunnel. Where? Down. want to go down into a dark basement without a flashlight. We'll grab one. Let's get going. find the gun. Why not? Because I don't have a flashlight. Oh. What is this place? I don't know. This room has to lead someplace. Well, let's hope so.
must be close. To what? to warn you. What are you saying? Look at their faces. Every one of them. Kathy Castle. The principal's daughter? They all wanted to touch her, so... <laughs> so Castleman made you kill them? No, no. I've been watching him for years. I just found this place. I, I thought you was him coming back. There's one chair left. Huh? It's for you. too, didn't you? Didn't you? You see now what you've done, Stephen. You have been very destructive to my classroom. You take your seat. Take your seat. You've been very destructive. You're going to have to stay after school. Come on. Let the girl go. Let the girl go. <laughs> No, this one is for me. This one is mine, Stephen. Put your hands up, sweetie. And keep them up. You stay back. Get your hands in. Get them in there. Ah. Ooh. Not so tight, is it? Is it? This one's mine, Stephen. You know why? It's an even trade. You know why? Because you, you killed my daughter. I loved your daughter. Yes, 
Yes, yes, you did. So much so that she got pregnant. And she had to give herself an abortion. Hey, oh, go ahead, go ahead. You want some of this? You want it in the ear? You said Kathy went away. School. Yes, that's right. She did go away to school. She's in, she's in class every day. She's a very good student. She's not naughty like you are. Would you like to see her? Huh? Would you both like to see my sweet Kathy? Oh. 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 There she is. Oh, Kathy. Little purple flowers. <clears throat> she always wanted a full ceremony. She said, Daddy, can I have a card about? <laughs> and you, you, my dear. You, my sweet. <clears throat> You're going. Not too tight, is it? Is it? You are going to be the maid of honor. And you, you, Stephen, are going to marry Kathy. I'm not taking this shit anymore. Where, where are you going? Home. What? It's uh, Monday Night Football. You can't, you can't do that. What are you going to do about it? I'll, I'll kill her! Go ahead. She hates football. Blake! I'm sorry. Steelers are playing the Raiders. You shit! Are you crazy? You are crazy. Everything happened too fast after that. No one else got out. It was awful. It was awful. Pull yourself together, Mr. Lyman. <laughs> now listen up. I want you to show me the basement where that classroom is. We're gonna launch a frontal assault. All right, Tyler, wrap it up. Listen up, you guys. You ready? Check your weapon. We don't know what's in there.
stand back. It's in our hands now. All clear. All right, let's move. We're out of here in 30 seconds. Everybody grab your parts. Yo, Rabbi. Robbie, you're a genius. Best party shop in town. Well, you guys really know how to party. Yeah! <laughs> Blake, you're gonna find Castleman's body. Yeah, I think that's what Harry wants. Some stupid gag. Hey, come on, chill out, man. Harry paid us to go along with it anyway, right? Yeah, so, just like uh, Oliver and Jimmy. Bobby. Hey, Robbie, you had my <laughs> neck in that noose, man. The fan was busting. I thought I was never gonna get out of there alive. What a trip. Terrific, Robbie. Oh, thank you. Give me my arm back later. Yes, sir. Squad car keys? Uh, and they're in the dumpster. Good. Hey, Robbie, save my head for me, will you? Hold it, hold it. Thanks. We're in good health. Harry, I, I can't believe you had this plan from the beginning. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to work until Callie and Blake discovered that Castleman was the real killer. Do you know how much publicity this is going to generate? They all died, but the film survived. It's going to back them in. You <laughs> should consider some serious therapy, Harry. Time for real. Check all those bodies. Behind those boxes. Jesus. What a mess. Chief? Check that boiler room out. It looks like thing I've ever seen. This is the work of a real sicko. Kathy. Good, clean hit. Self-defense. I want pictures of all this mess. Yes. And get forensic on it right away. The hell happened? They were all dead, mutilated. We saw them. We did see them. Some sicko must have carted them away. You mean someone is still out there? Well. Where we got to play. How, how do we fill out the reports? We got no forms to cover this. Should have 
Taking that NYPD offer. New York can't be as bad as all this. Dad, they're gone. They didn't want the truth. But they'll be back. They always do sequels. And I'll be waiting. Rewrites next time. Disappear. I love it when you can't hear a sound. 